Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've been sitting here talking to the Lord. Lord, what do you want me to tell them today? What What is there left to tell them? I believe that most of you now <laughs> that are left, yeah, see, for some reason I got a bunch of new subscribers during when I was off. And then I got back, got back on. They found out where the videos went. I guess they checked them out. Or something else I said. I don't know. 28 left in the last 26 days. I thought, I tell you what. Some people just can't handle the truth. That's why there's so few of us. And it's really, it's really a shame that I, I, of course, it all goes back to Satan. It, the conception of the Holy uh, Roman Catholic Church, not holy, not holy. That's the word they use. They're the farthest thing from holy. But anyway, in 301, 303 A.D., Constantine the Great decided, hey, this Christianity thing is sounds real good. Let's combine it with the paganism we like and we'll all get along because they preach peace and getting along. Why not? Sounds good to me. See, parts of it he liked. But parts of his religion, religion, he liked. So he had to find a way to combine them. I'm sure he had a council. They had what they called the Council of Nicaea, the Council of... Oh, I can't remember the rest of them. But that's when they would meet and decide various things throughout the centuries. They would have a council or a committee meeting of the top cream of the crop of what is now known as the Catholic religion. And if you didn't know it already, the false prophet is the Pope. It's just, it's almost mind-boggling that we're in this time period. And those who know they're part of the first fruits rapture are just we're in this waiting game like it's like I'm thinking okay my channel is not so much geared to the new believer that's just come out of a church I start talking and they start learning what I believe and phew, they're gone you know, I'm, I hate that. But the truth is the truth. And if there are any newbies left, you need to know that somebody has to tell you if you don't want to hear the truth of what's in the Bible, what's going to happen, what's the mark of the beast, what's what's not I love Daniel Alexander on logic before authority but he's saying that even the nasal swab is giving the vaccination but it can't be because I've had two of them I had to my heart was beating so fast that if I didn't have if I didn't go to the hospital and get it taken care of, my heart would have just, it would have wore out and I would have died. You know, you can only live so many days with that going on. And if it had gotten up over 200, you're talking hours, you know, of doing nothing about it. Well, you know... <laughs> They insisted, and I told them why I didn't want it. And I said, why can't you just do a cheek swab? You'd get the DNA, uh, the 
the germ would be in my spittle, obviously, or we wouldn't have to wear a mask, right? I, I want to ask the CDC and the NIH that. I hope somebody will send this to them. Or a doctor. Somebody tell me why you can't just do a... What are you doing? It tickles. Yeah, it does. It tickles. Yeah. He's licking my toes. Okay. Um, why they can't just do a cheek swab? The whole thing is just so out of hand ridiculous. I gotta watch what I say here. I can't, I don't want to get my channel kicked off. But there is another Jeannie Hardesty channel that I will use. I'm not sure how to log. I mean, I found it, but can I upload to it? I'm gonna try and see. It's got a red cardinal instead of my lion and the lamb, okay? I may change it to my face, just so you'll know it's me. Anyway, what was I saying? <sighs> Talking about something I can't talk about. The whole, the whole plan, which has been planned, the whole pandemic has been planned for a long time. And then they had a meeting in December to finalize everything. So what can we do with that we're not already doing? What can we do that we're not already doing? We need to encourage one another. I'm living in a place full of dying people. Now, how do I, I don't even feel right wearing these shirts around them. What can I do? And I pray, I pray for dreams. I'd love a vision. Never had a vision. And I would love to get another message from the Lord about the time we're in, but apparently my days of receiving messages are over. I've gotten a little word here or there as a answer to a question, but not enough for me. I want to hear every day, you know, don't y'all? For those of you who don't, there are a few people, few people that do. I tell you, it's It's frustrating when you want to be with your Savior so bad. <laughs> it's like it's like our fiancés overseas at war, and they keep saying, we're about to gain this ground, and we'll be home as soon as we do. And then you get a what do you call those notes they bring to your door? Uh, battalion such and such with Robert Smith, whatever <laughs> your fiance's name is. Jesus, we'll just say Jesus. <laughs> um, had to fall back and will be delayed at least two more months. And you're like, oh my gosh, I want to see him. Are y'all like that? <laughs> I hope you are. So, do whatever you can to stay really close to Jesus. 
because he's coming for a bride that really wants him and not just what he has to give or to escape. Even though it says in Luke 21, 36, pray that you may be counted worthy. Oh, what happened? To escape all these things. That's weird. That hasn't happened in a forever. Okay. All these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. See, you don't just want to escape. You want to stand before Jesus. Okay. As part of his bride. That's what we want. Then we get to come back and help people. With superpowers, yeah. How about that? We can scale a wall like Spider-Man. Oh, my goodness. We'll be like Superman, Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, <laughs> and all the others. Elastigirl. <laughs> I saw that CGI or cartoon, whatever you call it. The Incredibles. I love that movie. It was so cute. And the little boy that could run 90 miles an hour or something will run faster. <laughs> and it'll be wonderful. Nothing can hurt us. And we'll leap tall buildings with a single bound. Great exploits will you do, Jesus said. And I don't think that's in the Bible. I think that's in a message. <laughs> so... Look forward to that. Pray for those that are still savable and pray for protection. Tell who you can. And that's a question. I, I'm like, how do you tell a lost person? About the the you know. How do you tell them what's in it and why you might not want to take it? Why it might be harmful? I just told a couple young people in apartments behind our building. And I told him it's worth it's worth researching, very much worth researching. Just look it up. It's it's hard, you know, and it's hard to know how to deal with these people. When I try to be friendly, act like I'm happy. Just like I was before when I was around them, but not be around them any more than I have to. What are you going to do? Do you have members in your house that took it? Lord, help us. Help us to end our last few days here on earth well. Help us to finish our race well. Doing all we can with the ones we're around. Help us to cross that finish line jubilantly. can't wait. I can't hardly wait. I don't want to post discouraging things. I don't want to post anything about politics. That's all a circus show. They're all evil. Every one of them. They're behind everything 
that we're going through. I think I can say that. I think they're pretty proud of it. So anyway, I'm going to end it at that. Anything the Lord shows me to put up, I will. And it may be somewhere else. Oh, by the way, thank you, Lord. There's two new videos on bitshoot.com I put up yesterday. Um, I'll get the link and put it in the description box. All right, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and pray that it stays up because I don't think I said anything wrong. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us and our devices. And our internet connections. I think the first fruits will be out of here before much else takes place. I thought we'd be out of here before the, the V came around. I really did. But I also know that when Jesus takes us outside of time, he can put us back in the past. Yeah. Think about it. What can we do? I know what I want to do. Put me back in like December of 2019. All of us. Not just me. <laughs> He'll have the plan. He's already said in some of those messages. I may not have shared the one where he said, I have a plan that you know not of. And I can't exactly remember how it goes, but it was like I thought in my mind. I think he did tell me that we were going to be brought back in the past. <laughs> Which means we can undo a whole lot of bad done. Think about it. Okay, I'll end it there. And I'll talk to you later. Bye for now. Have a good day, good night, whenever it is you happen to see this. And check out my last two or three videos. Now the pictures haven't shown up yet. This has happened before, but you can look over to the left of them. The brand new videos pop up on... Wait a minute, this is my left. <laughs> get confused it's my brain all right on the far left of the screen are the new the videos in order on the far right are the videos most watched and in there in order least watched is on the bottom all right in the middle is the information about the videos on the far left so in the middle, you will see the information about the video I put up. The two videos, they both have no picture. But you can see a little red line. That's the link. A <laughs> really tiny font. But that's the link. Just click on it and it'll take you to what you want to see. The original, okay, of what I talked about. Okay, the pictures will show up eventually. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to put the link to my, what you'd call my homepage. Okay? All right. God bless you all, and I'll talk to you later.